Welcome back, everybody, to another Blue Jays Today Mini Monologue. And in this one, holy crap, the All-Star Ballad just came out. And we've got four Toronto Blue Jays in the starting lineup and another one on the bench. Who are they? You probably already know, but let's get into it because it is causing some controversy on the internet. So let's discuss this a little bit. So first, let's start off with a really easy one. The captain, Alejandro Kirk, he leads all, he leads all American All-Stars in third in votes. That's crazy. He's got a million votes, and the captain deserves it. He's got an 861 OPS. Some Yankee fans are saying, whoa, what about Trevino? Well, Trevino's batting a solid 790 OPS, and I'm sorry, the captain is just way cooler than Trevino. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, another one that we're going to get into here, a little easy one. Espinal's coming off the bench right now. He's second in votes behind Altuve, and I love it. Guy's having a great breakout year and he's also great with the glove showing great defense uh, for the Toronto Blue Jays this year another kind of easier one maybe a little bit controversial is George Springer I totally get it he's third right behind Trout and Judge for outfield votes and I get it like Judge and Trout in a totally different tier they're having like MVP seasons where Springer he's batting a modest oh, I got my notes here eight thirty Three OPS. Uh, there's other questions where Tyler Ward on the Angels could be there. He's totally going to make the team. He's in the top six. But, yeah, I feel like it's just name value at this point. I mean, that's kind of what this whole thing is. Anyway, it's just names and popularity. I mean, that's why the Blue Jays are up here. Um, all right, let's start to get into some controversial ones. So for first base, we've got Vladimir Guerrero Jr. leading with 900,000, or roughly 950,000 uh, votes. You got Ty France behind him with about 600,000, and then Rizzo with about 400,000 votes. Now, these dudes are very similar. Just in, just looking at an OPS, Vladdy's got an 863, France's got an 869, and Rizzo's got an 864. So they're all very close together. Rizzo's having a great, great month of June, and so is Vladdy. He's breaking out. He wasn't there in this conversation two months ago or even a month ago, but now he's having an excellent month of June. He's had like 17 homers now total on the season. That's a lot. Uh, and then Ty France, I thought it was going to be a lock Ty France, but that just goes to show the popularity of the Toronto Blue Jays. And Vladdy looks like he's going to be the starter. But, I mean, if he keeps up this hot streak like he's on recently, then yeah, he should be the AL uh, first baseman starter. So, go Jays, go. And last but not least, the most controversial one, and I got something to say about this, is the shortstop position with Bo Bichette leading very slightly with 580,000, and they got right behind him Tim Anderson with 500,000. Now, Blue Jays fans, I love me some Bo Bichette. Bobo go boom boom. He's very exciting. He's, he's, he's gotten a lot better defensively too. But the dude is not having as good as a season as Tim Anderson or in third place, Xander Bogarts. Both those guys are having way better offensive seasons than Bo Bichette. Anderson's having an incredible off offensive season for a Chicago White Sox team that has not had good offense this year. He has an 893 OPS. Bo He's got a 725. A seven, he's turning it on as of late. He's actually getting a little cold in the last couple of weeks, but he's been turning it on in the month of May and June. So I don't know what to say, guys. This is just pure popularity vote. And this is what I don't like about the All-Star game is the guys who deserve to start aren't going to start because the fans want them to. And look, I would love to see Boba Shett start, but I also want some integrity in terms of getting an all-star accolade on your baseball reference. It kind of just doesn't mean anything. It just kind of means you're popular and liked. You know, so, I mean, which is cool. I love Bo Bichette and he's super cool and popular and like, but no, I want to see some genuine good all-stars. You were the best at your position, but guys, let me know in the comments down below what do you think about these all-star ballots. Do you think that the Blue Jays deserve this much recognition for the season that they're having so far? And as always, go Jays go!